Hello and uh, welcome to this brand new course on AWS uh, Cloud Computing. So uh, in this course, we will be basically uh, learning about AWS and the different different services that uh, we work when working with AWS. And this is mainly um, uh, from the solutions architect perspective. So you know we will uh, look at EC2, VPC, S3, load balancing, auto scaling, Route 53, and lots of other services uh, uh, down the line. So once again, welcome to this uh, new course. Now, what we will do is before we jump into AWS or before we jump into cloud computing, we will first look at an introduction to infrastructure. Now, AWS is nothing but it can be it's a service which can be used to set up our infrastructure. Now, uh, before we jump into or you know start off with your AWS, it's important that we understand what is infrastructure and uh, why we need infrastructure. So, in this session, we will be looking at an introduction to uh, infrastructure what exactly it means and then in the next session we will also talk about the different components that we have as part of the infrastructure and what are different types of infrastructure that we have once again before we start off with this session please don't forget to hit the subscribe button all right so let's get started with this now so before we look at the cloud computing and understand what is cloud computing, it's important that we understand uh, what is infrastructure, the basic understanding of what an infrastructure is and uh, what, what, what exactly it, it does for us. All right. So in general, whenever we talk about your infrastructure, it is simply the basic component that helps with the operation of a society or an enterprise. So these are some basic physical and organizational structure. So such as your buildings, your roads, your power supplies, etc. All of these which is needed for the operation of a society. So think of it as your uh, society wherein to make up that society you need different different components like we need buildings, we need roads, we need land, we need power supplies and different different components that makes up for this uh, society or an enterprise so infrastructure can be defined as the basic physical systems all right uh, now this can be in terms of a business a region or nation and it often involves the production of public goods or production processes so uh, with these physical systems that we have by making use of these we basically um, uh, create some uh, resources or some processes which will be in, uh, utilized by the end users now the same concept we can apply in terms of uh, softwares and as well as your application so any applications that we are using on a day-to-day -day basis or any softwares that we are using on a day-to-day -day basis the same concept of your infrastructure can be applied here as well so this infrastructure is basically the foundation or that is the framework that supports a system or an organization so basically the components that is needed for an organization to work or for us to run an application or a software or um, a support a system it is provided by the infrastructure so that acts as a foundation for us so in computing information technology infrastructure is composed of physical and virtual resources and these resources they support the uh, follow the uh, storage processing and analysis of your data so basically you know uh, storing your data processing the data analyzing the data running applications all of these things can be done by making use of your physical resources or your virtual resources so generally when we talk about your it infrastructure it consists of your data centers it consists of servers it consists of computers it consists of your network hubs routers and many more components so all of these components can be uh, considered as our infrastructure which will uh, act as a foundation for us to run a system or run an application or software on top of this infrastructure so with an infrastructure as a company we can provide a positive customer experience by providing uninterrupted access to the website and online store so by making use of this foundation the it infrastructure that we have we can run applications we can run online store websites and uh, we can give a positive experience to the customers without any interruptions 
and um, making sure the customers are able to access the application whenever they want. Uh, we can also use this infrastructure to develop and launch solutions to the market with a high speed. Uh, we can also use this to collect data in real time to make quick decisions. So by, by utilizing this infrastructure and then also improve the employee productivity. All right. So um, overall, you're, uh, without an infrastructure, we cannot run an application or we cannot maintain an application or any software. So this in IT infrastructure, it acts as the foundation for us. And uh, it's important that we understand what exactly this IT infrastructure is. Um, only then we will be able to understand as to what are the different components we have, why we need these different components. All right. So that's basically an introduction to uh, infrastructure. In the next session, we will be talking about the different components that we have as part of the infrastructure. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, before you leave, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.